If you haven't done completing the square yet, now is your time. Let's have a look at this example. It says write x squared plus 6x minus 7, which is a quadratic, in the form x plus a squared plus b, where a and b are integers. This is a classic completing the square question. Why? Because we see that we have x plus or minus something in brackets squared, and then plus or minus something in the end. How do we complete the square? Well, this is a process to be memorized, to be honest. So we're going to start off by rewriting our quadratic. We're going to have x squared plus 6x minus 7. Step number one, we're going to write out a pair of brackets and we're going to write an x at the front. Next step, we're going to look at the number next to the x. Here it's the 6. We're going to halve that to get 3. So we're going to write plus 3 in the brackets and then we're going to square those brackets. We're going to copy down that minus 7 and then crucially we're going to subtract this number inside of the brackets squared. So we're going to minus 3 squared minus 3 squared. Next up, we're going to simplify this. We're going to have x plus 3, and that is going to be squared. And then we're going to take away 7. Then we're going to have minus 3 squared, which is 9. So we essentially have minus 7, minus 9. We start at minus 7 on the number line. We move 7 to the left. Sorry, we move 9 to the left, and we're going to end up with minus 16. So we can say here that the value of a is equal to 3, and the value of b is equal to negative 16. Don't worry about the fact that you've got a negative number there, even though it says plus. They do this sometimes. Here it's technically adding a negative number, um, but really all we need to do is write our answer x plus 3 squared minus 16. Um, it doesn't ask for the value of a and the value of b. I've just done that for clarity. So this would be our final answer here, x plus 3 squared minus 16.